Okay, we're back in my kitchen, and yes, behind me is the chili verde, but I got another dish. Now, this is more of a, a holiday dish. It's, uh, you can do pumpkin muffins, but we're gonna do like a pumpkin bread. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna go over this really quick, but you're gonna see me make it in just a couple seconds here. I got brown sugar right here. Sweet brown sugar, Some brown sugar. No chocolate chips, I'm gonna put that in, in the bread itself. You, you get one, this is, I believe, uh, oof, 29 ounces. Wow. Uh, 20 ounces of pumpkin. Buy this at the grocery store, Libby's. Now you can use real rum or rum extract. I got rum extract right here. We're going to do one, a little over a teaspoon of this right here, baking soda, it's for, to help it rise. Now, that pumpkin, pure pumpkin, that's just pure pumpkin. So there's one that's also... Basically, the pumpkin, if you want to make a pumpkin pie mix, that's just pure pumpkin. So you want to mix a uh, pumpkin seasoning. Let's see if I can do that correctly there. Pumpkin seasoning. Let's see. Focus, focus. There you go. And we're going to put that in there. Now, you could do it by flavor, by taste. Mix it, put it in there. But I would start with like one teaspoon, then keep on mixing it. Maybe it goes to like one tablespoon. Uh, this is basically whipped cream. Philadelphia whipped cream. Now this is 12 ounces. I'm gonna do two of those in there. Mix it all up. Six eggs, I'm gonna put six eggs in there. And uh, you know what? Let's start with four eggs, not six. Let's do four. And uh, last but not least, we have flour. So you wanna do flour. So let me get all-purpose flour. So all-purpose flour, you could use three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna mix all this together, and what you do is you kind of do the dry first, and then you do the wet, and once that's together, it's gonna to be like almost like a dough. Once it's a dough, do it right me, let's go to town, and I'll show you what it looks like. We're back, we're gonna do pumpkin bread here. So, flour, we're gonna do dry first. So I have two cups of flour right here. I'm gonna put it right in there. We're gonna have one cup of sugar, brown sugar right here. Okay, and uh, now remember I told you, there's baking soda, so use a teaspoon. If I could find a teaspoon, I'm doing the right thing. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Teaspoon, I had it. Teaspoon. Difference between tablespoon and teaspoon? Tablespoon, teaspoon. Um, so I'm going to put the teaspoon right there. Oh my goodness. So a tablespoon's bigger than a teaspoon. So I was just kind of joking around here. So... That goes there. A little bit more. Boom. Okay. So baking soda is done. Now we have pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Now uh, remember I said tablespoon, teaspoon. I'll just do a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon right there. We're going to try it once we whisk everything and get everything good. So let me get my whisker. I don't know if it's a professional term, but... So I have the oven, and the oven is at, right now, 375. I'm just going to mix these guys up right here. Mix them up. No butter needed, because we're going to do cream cheese. So this is whisked. 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 That's an interesting word. So... Once I put the pumpkin in there, and I put the cream cheese in there, I'm going to keep on whisking it and I'm gonna uh, finalize it by tasting it. Uh, the eggs, so now we can actually start doing the wet. So we're gonna go ahead and do the pumpkin right inside the bowl. So pumpkin's gonna go in. Sometimes need some assistance. So I'm gonna bring in the big guns. That's not my biceps, it's a spoon. So I'll get the spoon in here. Get the spoon going. Spoon. Do this right here. Get all the pumpkin out. Get out, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. Okay, so pumpkin is now out for the most part. Might be a couple little guys in the corner. But anyway, pumpkin's out. Now, cream. Now, if you really want to make it so pumpkin-y, you can. I'm not going to limit you. Get it 
is, if you're a pumpkin connoisseur, I recommend you make it as pumpkin-y as you'd like. So let's get this right here, and we're just going to get all that cream cheese right inside, and we're going to whip that up. So that's one. Remember I told you this is uh, 12 ounces. Two 12 ounces. Now if you want to go crazy, what you do is after you whip this all together, you whisk it, you get it going, and you just kind of make sure everything mixes. Well, if it doesn't taste as, as, as the pumpkin flavor you'd like, well, then add a little more pumpkin. I always buy more than what's needed. So I bought two containers. Now this is the rum extract. Now, teaspoon, tablespoon, do a teaspoon. I do it by just looking at it. Oh, safety. The top is still on. Let me take that off. Okay, now rum extract is ready. Now this kind of bakes off. It just gives it like a little bit of a flavor. Like, you know, and it gives it, adds it a little more flavor. So just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so mix that in there. Now, we don't have the eggs yet in here, so I'm going to put the eggs in. Remember I said six initially, and then I kind of like said, hey, let's do four. Now, I'm going to do four. Four is going to work. So, the ultimate thing you want to do is create almost like a dough. Now, when you create the dough, that's what's going to make it bind. That's what eggs do. Eggs are a binder and a binding agent. So, bind it together. So, so now whip it up. So there's four eggs in there. So whip, whip this up, and I'm going to show you the final product after I whip it. Taste it. Now let's say I taste it and I decide to put a little more flavoring in there. I'm going to let you know. But so far we have the eggs, the flour, the rum extract, the whipping, whipped cream, flour, and uh, can't forget the baking soda. But as I'm whipping this up, it's, it's actually looking really good. So I think I'm on the right track. So I'll finish this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm done whipping this bad boy and this pumpkin bread filling, the dough, everything looks amazing, looks unbelievable. It's gonna be almost like a cheesecake. Um, now, basically, what I'm going to do is, before I pour it in, get the chocolate chips ready. Pour the chocolate chips in there. Now, this is about, you can do a cup. Depends on what you like. If you're a chocolate chip guy, you put whatever you like in there. You put whatever's left in this bag. So, it's probably a cup. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just mix in there. And once I mix it all in there... We are ready to pour it in. Now I said I put the oven on 375. We're going to cook it for about 30 to 35 minutes and you're going to watch everything rise. When everything's golden and everything's ready, you take it out, right? You get a little toothpick or you get like a knife, right? Like a regular knife and you just kind of put it through and if it's not doughy and there's no gooeyness, that means that bread, pumpkin bread is ready. You can do the same batter for muffins. Now, this works great. So, thanks for watching. Let's see the final product when I take it out. Right now, I'm going to pour it in. You're going to see me pour it right here. And, oh my goodness. It's coming good. Look at this. Look at that. Amazing. So, when the finished product's done, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to show you. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. And it's taken longer than I expected. So um, it's taken about 45 minutes. Right, it's at 375, 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it out right now. Here's my little guy in the background, my new guy, Nico. This is gonna be the pumpkin bread dish. I'll show you what it looks like here. Pumpkin bread dish. Big, delicious mess. Okay, so see the pumpkin flavor, you can see the chocolate chips, everything is melted on there. I'm going to do the test. Now this is the test of the 
knife. Get a knife. Make sure it's all clean. Put the knife inside. If you get too thick a knife, just go like this. Boom. It's good. Ready to be devoured. So I'm gonna let it cool down and I'll cut it up and I'll show you what it looks like and how it's gonna taste. Stay tuned. Okay, I cut it up. There's a little piece right here. I couldn't help myself. I already started digging in. My wife did too. But uh, it's gonna last a while. Beautiful cake, and it's like a cake, but it's bread. And uh, it's, 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 very, it's very rich, very thick. And once it cools down, it'll be more like uh, cake-like. So anyway, this is my pumpkin bread. You could also do muffins with it too. Thanks for joining me. Join me again next time. Firefighter Cavaretta.